Greetings to you, my lovely people, and you all are welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Your Love World Reaction TV, bringing men closer to the Word of God. This channel gives you our gospel gist all around the world, and this channel also gives you our reaction messages from my dear man of God, Reverend Bequis Oyakilumi. And if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss videos like this that are posted on this channel, can you do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you can be the notified whenever we post a video. So right on today's uh, video, I will be bringing to you what I will be bringing to you the Thanksgiving service, the, 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 the Thanksgiving service of the last IPPC that we had and uh, what the man of God said on the uh, on the Thanksgiving service it will be sharing so, some vital information on why we should be thanking God why and how we should be thanking God and also it will be uh, it will be sharing some vital information of how you're going to prepare for your 2025 or, and what you need to do towards the end of this 2024 so you really need to pay close attention to this video and make sure that you watch this video to the very end and make sure that you share this video for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it will also help us to help this channel to grow. Thanks for watching and keep watching. I would rather not go for a meeting. I would rather just sit in my room. I believe it was on Monday when we started that I was talking to you about the messages that I share with you on communion services when I tell you this month, this is the message of the month. And I told you how that came about. So it's not something like, okay, uh, what are we going to do this month? Um, what will be the nice topic for this month? I showed you how it came. My revelation and direction of the Spirit. And I only hold meetings as directed by the Spirit. I would rather not go for a meeting. I would rather just sit in my room. I can do a lot without going out. See? So it matters to me what the purpose of a meeting that I'm going to be attending, yes. Why do we have it? Why does God want it? So a Thanksgiving service is designed differently. And always remember, especially pastors, ministers of the gospel, Always remember that when we have a service, when we hold, we call it service, okay? A meeting, when God's people come together. Remember that when we do those meetings, we're not doing them to ourselves. So our satisfaction is not part of the deal. It's not how happy we are with the meeting. Are we, are we satisfied? Did we like it? Did we enjoy it? All those things got nothing to do with it. It's always, what did he want? Did we do what he wanted? That's all. For me, that's all I care about. That's what matters. It's not how the people loved it, how it blessed them. Because we can bless people with anything that God has given us. But I'm dealing here with purpose. 
I live a life of purpose. It's my absolute conviction, conviction and absolute direction. So, when we, now, part of the service today is also an ordination service. Which also means that the whole thing's been designed in that direction. But thanksgiving, ordination. As I understand, uh, anyway, I'll get to that. So I want to read you a couple of scriptures. Just so you get yourself ready. Nehemiah chapter 11, verse 17. You have lots of names there. But just remember that verse is coming somewhere so it begins with the word and but just a little part that I want to pick for you and Mataniah the son of Micah the son of Zabdi the son of Asaph was the principal to begin the thanksgiving in prayer you see that he was the principal to begin the thanksgiving prayer. In other words, this Levite was uh, given an assignment to lead the thanksgiving prayer. It was a thanksgiving prayer. For example, if you read in the, in the complete Jewish Bible, it says, and Matanya, the son of Micha, the son of Zabdi, the son of Esaf, the leader who began the thanksgiving prayer. Of course, it's a thanksgiving prayer because there are different kinds of prayers. This was a thanksgiving prayer. You see it? So we do have a thanksgiving prayer. It's important to recognize that in proverbs chapter psalm 15 proverbs 50, psalm 50 proverbs 14 offer unto god thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me did you see that offer unto god thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high now Vows are very important to God. Vows. And I want to talk about the, the vow of prayer and thanksgiving. Because there are different kinds of vows. A vow is to God. Like, um, I explained something, epangelma in the Greek, in the New Testament, a promise of commitment that can be taken as delivered. In other words, you can count it done. When he uses the term vow here, 
there are many things that would not have happened to certain individuals in the Bible had they not made a vow. They had to make a vow. This is a different kind of vow from um, maybe they were raising money for church building and you say, I pledge or vow to give so so amount. No. This is a vow often made from a heart of uh, thanksgiving, appreciation to God, love of Him, or even in a place of their need, trouble, or pain. And one makes that vow and you make it from your heart and to God it is a commitment it's it's called a promise your heart is so connected to it that you joyfully give it you see it and in times of Thanksgiving you're praising that means you're offering thanks thanks prayers of thanksgiving that's praise you do it in songs you do it in confessions of his love greatness deliverances what has the lord done in your life you look at your life and you say to yourself if it had not been the lord who am I among so many? You look at yourself. You remember where the Lord picked you. Maybe it was not even you. Maybe he picked your father, your grandfather. Maybe. But you look back and see your trajectory. Look at where you're coming from to have arrived at where you are how much honor god has given you how much honor god has given you that is a heart of praise thanksgiving i was nothing you see how god told him in the in the old testament children of israel he said remember you were slaves in egypt he said remember you were slaves in egypt and I brought you out. He said, remember. What do you remember? Where would you have been? What was the direction of your life? Maybe if you don't remember yours. Where was your father going? Where was your grandfather going? Maybe they didn't know God. That's where you would have gone. But look at you. Even the way you are dressed today. Would you have been in clothes like this? Would you have been in a meeting like this? Don't think about anybody else. You. The children you have. Would you have had them? The family you have. Do you think you would have had this family that you have? Look what the Lord has done. So when we start praising, put your heart before the Lord because that is the place where the real thanksgiving begins. That is the place. At the point, the choir will be singing praises. While we're singing those praises, we will be offering prayers singing making melody to the lord praying prayers of thanksgiving and as the lord stirs your spirit give an offering there are different times 
as we praise give an offering don't give just once did you hear what i said give an offering give an offering make a vow do you get it thanksgiving time is also a time of making a vow what did jacob ask he said oh god if you will be with me in this direction of my life and make it possible for me to return to the land of promise he says not only will the lord be my god he said of everything that you give me i'll give it tithe to you and i want you to look, notice if you take me again to the land of promise in the land of promise i will give the tithe unto you you have been born into the land of promise you have arrived there you are there live the vow then you will enjoy the heritage of jacob you see it it tells us about the heritage of jacob you want the heritage of jacob you will not only inherit the blessings you will inherit the vow lift your hands thank you all right thank you for watching that wonderful episode and i believe you enjoyed that and i also believe you learned something from that video and if this is your first time coming across this channel i don't want to miss videos like this i will post it on this channel can you do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so i'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and please do like our videos and also share our videos for it to help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it's also help this channel to grow thanks for watching and stay tuned till we see you next time we love you and god bless you